Hi everybody, good morning. I'm doing um, a Stone and Mount is part of Actifinity uh, CTF that was released before. Try hack me if there is, I think, five or six rooms. I'm missing some write ups of this room, so I'm doing this one now. Uh, this one said in the true the house and federated our network and target the NFS server. So we know it's an NFS network file system where the backups, the backup file are stored. A classified secret was accessed and stolen. The only trace left behind is a packet cup to pick up file recording recorded during the incident. Your mission, should you accept it, is to discover the contents of the stolen data. Of course, they give us the machine, and if you log in and you start your pickup file, your pickup file it's in the desktop. Uh, of course, we, we, we it's a lot long, so that's why I make it easy, so you don't get lost. So you just you can even follow one by one if you think if you're not knowing what you do. Uh, you're not uh, with Wireshark, so you can see the information here, uh, get attribute, access, so you already have there. Of course, sometimes it's all um, conversation. If I go to conversation, you can see it's talking already IPv4. It's two people talking, so it's a, it's a small pickup file, so you don't get lost, so we, we are not uh, uh, like a whole company capture has a stake. Uh, a st um, even if you do protocol harsh, you can see we already we only capturing the NFS file system, so it's a straightforward. So you can see the NFS attribute get re, uh, read directory lookup lookup get attribute uh, get attribute access lookup. That's the data usually for NFS. Uh, usually this data is read read. Uh, is this is a critical procedure to watch for as it signify that the client is requesting uh, content of the file. We have write for example the process indicates that the client is writing data. We have get attribute. This is to retrieve the attribute of the file such as its size permission. And we have the access. This check if the user have permission to access a file in certain way, read, write, and things like that. So we already see these things. Uh, you can see already is looking up a file called credential.txt. Of course sometimes in because it's NFS we can do the trick that usually we uh, export object and play around in them. I don't know, but here you already you arrive here and you see a text file. You, you can already read this one. Uh, no, it's uh, no because it's looking up. He's not reading it. You can see even you. Uh, of course, you might go say, okay, how about follow a TCP? The usual. Not really with uh, the way NFS work. You get too much noise here. Now let's go back to our. Uh, uh, you can see it's the file, you have lookup, 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 uh, get attribute. Because for small file you can play around screen like that. Uh, which one is interesting here? Um, you can say deal or delegate return. What the hell is that one? I don't know about that. Uh, then this is not, it's an NFS. Delegate return. Hmm. You still feel attribute. Where is the usually you are more interested looking for the read one? But see, I'm not finding where they are the read ones. Look up someone when you make a video. Let's make a uh, festival because it's NFS. You start straight, let's filter NFS only. Oh, you will find something here. First of all, you notice this is oh, I get I'll go to a little bit confused when you do read uh, a plus read plus because when you filter with the NFS you're looking for read uh, protocols now because <laughs> it's a read plus it's a 68 that's why I got, I got confused uh, a little bit in this room if you go to RFC for NFS uh, for, uh, for the NFS for example uh, that talk about this uh, read things read the plus you can see it's read plus there it's a new, it's only for version 4, and we can confirm that because we, we're dealing with version 4. This is one of the latest, it's not the old uh, filter that we use in Wireshark if you Google. Uh, and then uh, if you go to, let me go back to where I'm starting there. Uh, 
Uh, this is uh, Ctrl F read plus. Uh, that read plus. Where is uh, no? Start from the top. Uh, read plus and then uh, example of read plus. I think here will tell you about the number. Uh, uh, an example uh, uh, application present. Where is the the opcode for it? It doesn't show here. Uh, let's go up. Uh, up uh, is a new variant of the NFS version 4.0 read operation resides being able to support all the data semantic of the read operation. It can also be used for the client and server to efficiently transfer holes. I don't know what it means by transfer for because the client does not know in advance whether hole is present or not. If the client support read plus and now we know it's a read plus. If you go to read plus, this is the new. Also talk about um, this uh, read 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 plus story. Where is the read plus? I'm get confused. Uh, read plus service and the client metadata which describe the holes. I'm not sure why you're talking about the holes. But if you go to Wireshark, uh, Wireshark. For the op code, we, we the 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 op code for the read plus is 68. So because if you Google most articles they're using NFS all the ones, so they don't talk about the NFS plus 68 code. This room you can easier do if you do uh, op code, not 25. I'm looking for uh, six, not not three, 68. The one for reading because that's what the data because we're looking for the data transfer and when you look here there is two red plus this one I think uh, that's the one that contain the data if I go now to uh, the operation count this is the red up code that's the one for reading and if you do the content that's the data is it and and you can see here it give you already uh, it tells you an archive password as, uh, uh, the, this one uh, it's a plain text and this one uh, if you look at it it's a PK that's a magic for a zip file so by filtering for the right code and you know because version 4 it's in the latest version I think this one so you know exactly the data where is it these two data was uh, exported in this uh, file <coughs> Now this one is straightforward. We can just uh, because it looks like it's a text file. You can just copy it. Uh, copy the data here. Copy. It's a text. We are not have problem with the hex here. Um, oh no! Let's make this. Oh, too much big. Where is the minus? <laughs> Now it's getting too bigger. Uh, zoom out. Control plus minus. Why? Uh, let's call it, for example, uh, uh, what we we call it? Let's because it's MD5. Let's call it uh, plus dot txt. Why I'm doing this? It's a uh, it's a hex file. So l let's go to let's go to our friend. Let's copy that thing there. From hex we get it archive password and it gives us this MD5. I'm getting confused. There's something. Uh, is from hex, but if I want to copy it straight from, uh, uh, we can copy. No, it doesn't work for me. This, if I copy it from uh, packet bytes, let's see where. Let's call it. Uh, 
Docker.txt can you can you convert it straight to text if I do like that? Oh, let's check what we got there. That pass things let's see the cut cred.txt oops well when you save it as byte it will save straight to text uh, as the original file so we can use that one so we can see it is straight it's still MD5 or something so now because we have an MD5 <coughs> it's a archive password so you can use uh, save directly as byte so you go to our friend there and then you can get MD5 you go there to crack station for example and you can see the password is Avengers so now we got that thing already so we can use that so we can do the same things for the next one the next one is we can do different ways here we can just uh, we can copy copy value but here we can go to our friend there we can just put it there <coughs> and you can see it's PK uh, so uh, it's already from X we can just uh, save output <coughs> sorry guys what we call it uh, file.zip for example uh, let me save it to stone and mount called file.zip so I save it if I go to uh, not you we done all this let's close this uh, because we can do nzip we already have the password we say avenger Aven let me see what I did because I have already the images here let me remove that secret things uh, download.zip so we don't get, uh, get the same things so I can do now nzip uh, minus p avengers uh, password avengers and that file we got it from uh, cyberchef and then a incorrect password uh, avenger avengers and now we got that image secret.png and where is my secret.png if you open it you can see it's a uh, is a QR code now we did it this way we can do it also this way we can come here and we just because it's raw uh, we can don't copy right click you can just go here uh, export packet byte and uh, data and you can say for example archive why am I typing R archive.zip can, you can only you can say it's binary if you don't know the the signator pk there and you just come here and say okay i can just say file uh, archive bin and file will tell you it's a compression and zip so you can just do nzip uh, minus p avengers and you do file uh, not file archive what What's wrong with you? Archive.binary and you get the image. Uh -huh. And we got the image. Of course, it's a, it's an image, so it's not like. A... Now, of course, there's two ways you can do it. We can go to online QR code. You can just uh, now. This is webcam. You can upload. Uh, where is that uh, secret image secret image and automatically will give you the flag because there or I can use a Linux command uh, you can install uh, if you are in Ubuntu you can install uh, we call it zbar tools you can install zbar tools and I can just try Z, zb uh, ZBR image on the secret image straight and you can get scanned one barcode symbol from one image in a second and you, it give you straight uh, the file so either use uh, command line you can install it this way or you can do it online for a QR code so to recap here the, the basically this task is uh, is the first thing you need to notice it's a v4 so when you google and you see a read operation you make sure that what read it using in this one is the latest is using read plus so to filter you need to know uh, the correct uh, uh, not you uh, not you you 
the the read plus uh, op, uh, the code 68 I'm not sure for the old one is it 3 or 4 or 7 or something and then when you filter basically you get all of them and you be careful when you export the data the way how you export it uh, this is I like this one export packet bytes then of course you get all the data for you and you can uh, extract the files and then you can install it by your computer if you want to have tools for you to detect uh, no I'm not sure if it's safe if someone <laughs> if someone puts in QR code like a code or something and you can extract it maybe it's safe I think it's safe for now uh, what else? Oh, this is another one before I forgot it. Uh, someone told me before when we, the challenge was there. I forgot, but because these mini rooms in files can the uh, tools you can use. This is a challenge pick up file white shark. Now there is a tool called bean walk. We can do minus extract from because bean walk is a forensic, it can read wire shark data. And if you find images and things like that, he, he has the tools to extract them. So if I tell him now, go straight to there, you can see he's, a, he's already found the image. Uh, no, he didn't find the, He said in compressed size, he find end of the zip archive footage. So if we go there, you can see he's already have that file. If I go underscore, you can see he found the zip file and we can make sure it's in a zip and it's there of course if I try to unzip it uh, unzip directly uh, so it will ask for the password which is Avengers and we got the image as we got before so we, when we got uh, uh, it's a PNG file so you can use uh, sometimes if we have Wireshark and you get confused just through it through I think there's another force most also can do this uh, I, don't, I forgot uh, let's go out from this I forgot the command but for most also has this uh, yeah you found the secret so for most also can do the job where do you, where do you put it uh, the output so if you go to output, uh, if on the audit, let's see what the, the audit for most, for most which say file extracted zip is one, ls, so if you go cd at the zip folder, it already got that one, we can confirm it's a zip file, so we can see zip archive, if I say unzip, uh, unzip uh, that zero zero things, with cut password which we got avengers, and it gives us the, the image of course secret dot it's it's an image and then we can just use uh, what again recommend again I forgot about it Z bar image we can go Z bar bar image uh, the secret uh, and then uh, you got uh, the so you can use the tools so yeah so different tool for forensic if you something faster you can use this the foremost and you can use uh, uh, what's the name for our friend uh, what's the name I forgot beanwalk or foremost one of the two any case guys thank you very much and have a good day